Hey everyone and welcome back. Am I muted? No, I'm not. For some reason it sounded like I was muted, but I'm not. Um, sorry, I just got really close to the mic. Um, alright. My voice is lower because I just woke up. <laughs> Commander. Um, fun fact. I have a really low voice in the morning. Um, so we have, uh, not Kelly just told me that, uh, Commander Anderson, or Admiral Anderson, fuck, we'll just call him Captain Anderson, is in this room. We should talk to him. Because we love him. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? What's going on? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Huh. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. Aww. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here. Hope. Faith. Oh, damn it. That any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla style hit and runs. But it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. Why London? I mean, no offense to London or anything. I'm not saying, like, America would be a better choice. I'm just wondering... Why specifically London? Hmm, if I was a Reaper, where would I attack first? Canada! That's right. Canada. Alright. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill Noted. him. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Man, when I kill him, and I will kill him, I'm gonna say that was for Thane. You son of a bitch. What's that line for the Princess Bride where it's like, um... Spoiler warning if you've never seen The Prince of Bride. Uh, Nigo Montoya kills his... Like, the guy who Commander. kills his uh, father. I want my father back, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna say, I want my Thane back, you son of a bitch. Hi, not Kelly. Commander. You don't have anything to say about our weird encounter the other day? Why do I always feel like that people just want to do me? Maybe maybe I'm just paranoid, but... I seriously have this, have this thing going on where it's like, hmm... I think you would have do me. I'm not interested because my true love is Garrus. Alright, I'm going to dock here and you guys don't have to come along for the ride. You're I was to dock, gonna Normandy. go shopping. Do you need ground transport? Um where's the shopping? It's the commons? I need a cab to the Presidium. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. What? Thank you, Edie. I guess. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do some shopping. I'm gonna see um, if we have that thing that that uh, the engineers wanted. So yes, I will be right back. Well, 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 I'm not done shopping yet, but look who we got over here! Hey buddy, what you doing? What's with your hand? You don't have anything in there, Caden. Okay, apparently he still has some head injury. Surprise this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. <laughs> Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. You just Things left this crazy. place. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. 
I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? Not the Canadian. More likely to have Batarian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers wait, wait. on their balcony. Wait, You're Canadian? Yeah. Beautiful view. Caden, you know this is though? crucial. I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Let's me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. Look, we didn't come here to talk about work. Here's to that. Let me tell you something that I've been thinking about. Okay. I'm not the kind of guy who's the life of the party, who has a lot of friends. I noticed. Really? No, it's true. I mean, some people even find my, uh, integrity annoying. Really? No, seriously, I've... <laughs> okay, fine. Well, now you're messing with me. Okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander, and I value your friendship. Aw. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. Well, I'm glad we're over the all awkward romance thing. Ugh. <sighs> That's, that's always good. Alright, I'm gonna go back to shopping. Bye! Hey, I'm d still doing more shopping, but look who I found! Hello, Shepard. Never mind! And we're back, and I'm done shopping. And what do we have here? Hi! Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. Good to meet you. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems. Power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Hi. Got it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. We have to go there anyway. So let's do that. Uh... Oop, excuse me. Yeah, this place is looking a little rough at the moment. Hi. These are control schematics for Cerberus turrets. Will these help? Damn right they will. Glad I have useful things on my person. He's still talking to me, and I just left him. That's He's a little a rude. Oh my gosh, everyone is just talking, and it's just a bit of a sensory overload. Oh, we also need to talk to um, the uh, like the, the nurse about the military-grade healing stuff. Okay. We need to go this way, I think. So who's gonna get um, Udina's office now that he's like dead? I think it should be me. Just saying. Commander Bailey. Uh, Spectre is this place? Delicious. Okay. So let's check out the. Oops. Let's first check out the console. Okay, so medical supplies. Medical supplies originally meant for occupied zones have been routed to the Citadel because the Reaper invasion has made delivery impossible. The supplies are currently in lockdown on the stocks, but can release... Oh, yeah, let's release it. Um, okay, CSEC has fielded requests for a civilian militia to defend the Citadel in an event of another attack. Many CSEC officers believe a militia would benefit the Citadel's state of readiness and improve morale, but they lack the funds and clearance of the program. Spectre authorization would allow CSEC to begin training civilian volunteers using funds normally allocated to executive... Yeah, 
executives don't get their bonuses. Come on, you guys, this is a war. Surveillance authorization. CSEC has requested a number of surveillance warrants in attempt to find evidence that would incriminate Cerberus informants on the Citadel. Officers have tapped public surveillance feeds, but do not have the legal access to private security feeds. Spectre authorization would enable CSEC to stop business feeds without informing civilian agencies. Go for it! Wow, I'm the worst Spectre. I'm just like, yes, sure, authorize, you. Yeah. A Batarian patient named Gorak is located in the makeshift clinic in a temporary refugee camp in Docking Bay Eve 24. He is suffering from undisclosed and severe but severe injuries. Medical staff from Herida Memorial Hospital have provided painkillers, but there are no viable long term treatment because the Batarian he he hegemony refuses to share records. No data on Gorlak is available prior to his arrival on the Citadel. I might have to talk to him. Location for Din Korlak. Volos Ambassador Din Korlak's current location is unknown. Biometric analysis does not detect him in any public location at this time. His last known position was an office suite near the human embassy. Batarian access codes. With Spectre level access codes, it is possible to bypass standard security pro protocols and track top level diplomats, uh, diplomatic dispatches. The location of, of console access using uh, suspect ciphers will be uploaded to the Spectre's Omni tool and highlighted for easy detection. Alright. And yeah. Don't we need... Wasn't one of the things we had to get like a uh, an actual something something for the engine? And I thought we they said we got it here, but I guess we don't. Oh, I didn't see what I was on the... You know, maybe I'll go back to the ship where it lists the stores, because I'm not very good at, like, finding the stores in a... in a, uh, list-ish setting. Okay. So the embassy guard, number five. Let's go there. I don't know why we have to talk to him, but we'll chat with him. Have a sit down, have some tea, say hi, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to talk to you about stuff. People are not looking very happy these days. Hi! Was the Volus ambassador here earlier? Yes, he was, Commander. I need in. Spectre business. I'll unlock the office when you're ready. I am ready. Take me now. Sorry, you just reminded me of my boyfriend. Knock, knock! Who's there? Commander Shepard! Commander Shepard who? Commander Shepard here! Damn, I am fine looking. Ooh. You've never been this uncooperative with us before, Ambassador. That's because you were actually doing some good in the galaxy before. Has that changed? How many colonies would be gone if we hadn't taken action against the Collectors? Too many. But fighting the Alliance... ...must continue in order to end the war. What? We understand it took a lot for you to reach out to Cerberus, Ambassador Korlak. We ask that you trust us a little longer. You people are monsters! Ambassador, please. Hundreds dead. Udina betraying the Council. I should have cut ties with you ages ago. And what will that accomplish now? The risks you took by passing information to Cerberus, it's left you in an interesting position. If you sever contact, we can't protect you from the consequences. I don't. I have no time for this. We'll speak again. Have a good day, Ambassador Korlak. Hmm. The Turians think I'm still working for Cerberus. They've put a price on my head. I can't go to CSEC, but Cerberus has plans. An entire Turian colony rests on my life. Wait, what? If anyone finds this, I hid a tracking receiver in the office suite beside the human embassies. Um... Where? Where? Ooh. Damn, Cerberus has them everywhere nowadays. 
Zaid. Go on about them all night. Just get the car up here quick. Little bastard's even heavier than he looks. Zaid? Hmm. Where did he hide it? Ah. Commander Shepard, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, they didn't you. kill him. Tell me where you are. Uh, we're still near the Presidium. CSEC will check Selkish arms when they realize I'm missing. They won't give a damn when they realize you sold them out to Cerberus. Wait. Cerberus is planning to attack a colony that. Stay calm. Help's coming. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Zaid used to work for Cerberus. Ask him why he's here. Why? Why go after your old employer, Zaid? How you know my name? All of a sudden, I was his dark. Good question. Um. 